Lots of people traveled to the end of the line at the big station on the island of Sodor. Engines from the other railway often pull the trains. Gordon was one day talking to one of these engines. I remember going to London when I was young. Do you know the place? The station's called King's Cross. <laughs> King's Cross? London's Euston and everyone knows that. Rubbish, said Duck. London's Paddington. I know, I used to work there. It's King's Cross. Euston. Paddington. They argued till they went to sleep and they argued when they woke up. They were still arguing when the big engine went away to collect his coaches. Stupid thing. I have no patience. Stupid yourself, Gordon. London's Paddington. Do you hear? Stop arguing, you two. You make me tired. At least you both agree on something anyway. What's that? London's not Euston. Now shut up. Next morning, Gordon had brought the coaches to the platform. If I didn't stop, I could go to London. Then I'll show that great western engine a thing or two. <laughs> he tried all sorts of tricks. He tried running past the station. Another time he tried to go before his driver could couple the coaches. Nothing seemed to work, and soon Gordon gave up hope. I'll never get to London, he said. The next day, he brought his coaches over at the end of the line, waiting for the other engine to pick up the coaches. He went onto his siding and waited till the engine arrived. Ten minutes had passed, but the other engine didn't arrive. A porter came up to Gordon's cab, and he spoke severely to the driver and fireman. The inspector's on the line. He wants to see you. He came back a few minutes later. Hello. What's the problem? The engine for the express has turned over while coming out of the yard. They want us to take the train to London, as nothing can come in or out. I said we would, if the fat controller would agree. He said that we can do it. How's that? Fine, said the fireman. We'll show them what the fat controller's engines can do. Gordon was excited, and he hurried off to the platform to collect the coaches. Not too long, he set off after the guard's whistle blew. We're going to town, we're going to town, sang the coaches. Hurry, 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 chanted Gordon. Faster and faster he went. He found that London was a long way to go. Never mind. I like a good long run to stretch my wheels. All the same, he was glad when London came in sight. The fat controller was checking his daily papers. That's when the station master walked in. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen the news? Not yet. Why? Well, just look at this, sir. He looked at the newspaper and gasped. Goodness gracious. There's Gordon. Headlines, too. Famous engine at London Station. I never. Gordon arrived the next day. I'd shake it that Gordon had a good time in London. We sure did, sir. We all had our photographs taken, and Gordon didn't know which way to look. Police were called to control the crowds. Good. Now, did you enjoy your time there, Gordon? No, sir, I didn't. Why ever not? London's all wrong. It's not King's Cross or Paddington. They changed it. It's now St. Pancras. 